Jesus teaches us to go beyond the letter of the law and to proclaim always the love of God. A blessed Thursday to you, dear friends. This is Sister Lauren of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said, Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your ancestors killed. So you are witnesses and approve of the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute so that this generation may be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary, yes, I tell you, it will be charged against this generation. Woe to you, lawyers! For you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. When he went outside, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile toward him and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say. History repeats itself when generation fails to learn its lesson and blindly reproduces the errors of previous generations. This is what Jesus hopes to prevent by putting the Pharisees in touch with the violent history of their forefathers' dealings with the prophets. If Jesus can open their eyes and lead them to own the truth, they may still arrest the cycle of violence and not to fall into the error of their forefathers. For the Pharisees' growing hostility towards Jesus, who is himself a prophet, is a sign that menacingly points towards the repetition of history. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may we have the humility to learn from the mistakes of earlier generations and thus be spared from the tragedy of repeating them. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the Gospel.